I wanted to quickly pop in to thank Nordgreen again for sponsoring this video. Seriously, I'm still so obsessed with my watch. I have not switched my strap from the sterling silver to the black leather because I'm still really obsessed with my sterling silver when I've been wearing it literally everywhere. But I wanted to just say, once again, the straps are so easily interchangeable and honestly, you can make it fit with any outfit. Another thing I really wanted to say is that not only is their packaging completely upcycled from former plastic, Norgreen really has an amazing giving back program. I mentioned before, it partners with three NGOs um, in order to donate two months of clean water, two months of education, and save 200 square feet of rainforest. But honestly, they have proven their donations and they kind of put their money where their mouth is and they truly have provided, I want to make sure that I get the numbers right, provided clean water to 11,600 households, education to 6,500 children, that's so important to me, and also has preserved 742,000 square miles of rainforest, which is of course still super important to all of us. I really wanted to just say this watch company is seriously so amazing. Thank you so much Nordgreen for sending it to me. I genuinely wear it as an accessory. On top of that, from November 21st to December 1st, for their Black Friday sale, they are doing a 35% off with my code MACO35 in order to get 35% off, and that is completely on all purchases that you make. So if you want to get a strap or if you want to get the watch and the strap, you're going to get 35% off your entire order, which is such an amazing deal, seriously. That sale ends December 1st, and um, yeah, I highly recommend this watch and I just wanted to share it with you guys because they definitely do an amazing giving back program and they really are a cute, sustainable brand. All right, back to the video. Hi guys. <laughs> my Hi guys. roommates, I know, my roommates can hear so they'll have their input, but I am, I just got back from Trader Joe's and I am doing, is it charcuterie? Charcuterie making a charcuterie board for our Friendsgiving that is tomorrow. What day is it? November 14th? Yes. Yeah. No, 13th. Friday the 13th. Oh my god. I went crazy at Trader Joe's because I really want to make the best charcuterie board because all of my friends know I don't cook. I never... I'm the worst person in the kitchen. So I'm just, you know, putting 110% in this. This is what I got. Every vlog I go to Trader Joe's, by the way, and I'm like, here's what I got. I got this cracker assortment, which I wanted to get like more than just one type of cracker. And then I noticed that Trader Joe's had an assortment already. So I got that. Italian breadsticks that I am actually also going to wrap at the end some um, prosciutto. I saw a photo. It looked super cute. So that's what I'm doing. The surprise is also ruined because my roommates can hear me. So these are the meats that I got mixed nuts to put on the charcuterie board so it's like cute and decorative pickles i don't really know what they're called they're cornichon cor cor cornichon pickles that's <laughs> <laughs> what i got is it cornichon pickles or just cornichon cornichon is french for pickles yeah. cornichon then i got grapes but not just any regular old grapes i got a grape medley so there's like three different colors honey because we ran out of honey dried cranberries to put at the edge of the charcuterie board as well for color this is very special i bought apples because i'm going to slice up the apples super cute and put them all around as well so aren't you guys excited so excited yeah. haven't even gotten to the cheese yet mm -hmm. Truffle salami. I think we had this once at one of our um, wine tastings in Connecticut. This looks really good. Hi, Jump Bum. Hi. Oh, you can come in. What's going on? I'm, I'm oh, filming yeah, my. Well, now I it really was supposed to be a surprise, but now since every single person is in here, this <laughs> is not a surprise. So it's here it is. Surprise. First and last time. <laughs> but it's. Ooh, it went all out. Time for the cheese, the most important part. So I got two, four, five different kinds of cheeses. Cranberry goat cheese that I'm pretty sure everyone has had. Last year we had this and it was so incredibly good. And then this year I noticed that they had a blueberry kind as well. I got a cheddar cheese, but it's cheddar 
melange. I don't really know. So we'll try that. I'm gonna like dice these up in cubes for more shapes. Then I got a Parmesan, of course. It's like my favorite cheese. And then I got the special, I think it's new at Trader Joe's, the Brie with truffle cheese. I'm so excited to try this as well. Not a huge truffle fan, but you know, trying new things, 2020. And the rest that I have is just my regular weekly groceries. So yeah. We are getting ready for Friendsgiving, which is tonight. We are all traveling home, unfortunately, for Thanksgiving, and I'm actually gonna be staying um, in Florida for the remainder of like holiday season, just because there are like obviously travel restrictions and just like coming back and forth between Florida and New York is like a little too much on getting in Christmas. So I really was just honestly gonna stay home for the entire month of like holiday season and that's that on that. It is Friday the 13th, oh my God. I wanted to explain to you guys how we are doing it. Basically every year we do Friendsgiving and someone brings a dish. So this year it's gonna be all of my roommates, of course Paige and Paige's roommate Christina. So we um, are all kind of tasked to bring one dish. So the turkey slash chicken responsibility was under Kate. Paige is gonna try to bring a vegan turkey. I don't think she, Trader Joe's actually doesn't have the vegan turkey anymore or something like that. So Paige no longer is bringing that. Tori's making the gravy. She's making mashed potatoes and the stuffing. Emma is making sweet potatoes. Paige made um, green beans. Jenny made the, is gonna make a bruschetta appetizer or something. Kate is making dessert as well. Jenny's making cranberry sauce. Wine is BYOB. I'm making the cheese plate and Jenny's making bread. Now I'm gonna be making a beautiful cheese board that I'm going to show you guys. Charming, don't smile, in fact 
Down the hatch. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>